So Hydro characters in Genshin Impact are known for their ability to douse their foes with water-based attacks. These attacks make applying freeze, vaporize and electro charge incredibly easy. Not only are these elemental reactions powerful, but they can also be extremely useful when dealing with the game's most strongest mobs. So yeah, in this video, I will rank all the Hydro characters from Genshin Impact. And now, let's start. So at number 7, we have Barbara. You want to write in my journal too? So, she is a 4 stack catalyst user and as one of the Genshin Impact's free character, Barbara is one Hydro unit that is available for every player. This 4 star specializes as the typical healer character, which can be a huge bonus for any team that finds themselves taking damage. As a catalyst user, Barbara can safely doze her enemies with water attacks from afar. Both Barbara's elemental skill and elemental burst provide life-saving AoE heals, giving players the strength to carry on fighting. In fact, the best Barbara build can give you the edge over even the strongest foes. So make sure you use it when adding the Shining Idol to your team. At number 6, we have Kokomi. She is also a 5 star catalyst user. So Kokomi is one of the most big Genshin Impact characters in 2.4, which is largely down to her incredible healing capabilities. In fact, the Divine Priestess of the Watasumi Island can get the travelers through even the toughest flows of the Spiral Abyss. Of her abilities, apply the Wet Effect and her ability to heal allies on the brink of death is unparalleled. If you are struggling to keep your team alive in the abyss or just need a hydro character you can rely on, then Kokomi is your girl. At number 5, we have Mona. I am astrologist Mona Magistus, meaning the great astrologist Mona. She is also a 5 star catalyst user. <laughs> Looks like all the female hydro characters are catalyst users. So yeah, Mona is Genshin Impact's resident hydro mage. This highly skilled astrologist may be poor in Mora, but she certainly isn't lacking in utility. The astral reflection is great addition to any team that aims to quickly immobilize all enemies on the battlefield with plenty of damage to boot. Mona's auto attacks, her elemental skill and elemental burst all deal AoE damage making her incredibly useful to freeze comps. Consider utilizing Mona if you have Ganyu or Ayaka as your main DPS as their damage will skyrocket. At number 4 we have Tartaglia also known as Child. He is a 5 5 star bow character. As the 11th member of the Fatui Harbengers, Tartaglia is no stranger to intense clashes of battles. Unlike the other hydro characters in Genshin Impact, Child excels at pumping out damage and can serve as a team's main DPS unit. His abilities enable quick transitions from ranged bow attacks to swift sword slices, allowing players to constantly chip away at their foes. While well, this highly skilled combatant doesn't have any healing abilities, his AoE and single target target hydro damage make him extremely viable. At number 3 we have Kamisato Ayato. He is also a 5 star character and a sword user. So the faceless head of the Yashiro commission no more, Kamisato Ayato has been released recently. Not only does he have an elegant design but the way he fights on the battlefields embodies that with swift, fluid movements. He shines as both a hydro DPS handing out some of the most highest damage in the game. Sorry child, your time has come. Ayato has more damage. And he also works well as a support also due to the frequency of his hydro application. At number 2 we have Shinchu, a 4 star sword user. So if you have been playing Genshin Impact for a while, then chances are that you are aware of just how impactful Shinchu is. This 4 star character can buff any DPS unit, adding hydro element to their attacks. This buff is so potent that Shinchu currently has a pick rate of around 85% above in the Genshin Impact 2.4 update. While his his kit may not look overly flash, the added damage from both his elemental skill and his elemental burst is just too good to pass up. And finally at number 1, we have Yalan. She is a 5 star bow user, so she is an amazing support on her own. Yalan can also dish out a surprising amount of damage to enemies. All of her skills and a majority of damage scales entirely off of her max HP. This scaling also makes Yalan a lot easier to build and she is also the only character in Genshin to have a full HP percent scaling. Means the more health she has, the more damage she can do. And Yalan can also utilize a variety of weapons as well. And players won't have a hard time maximizing her damage. So there you have it guys. Every Hydro character in Genshin Impact ranked. Well, we'll be updating this list as when new Hydro characters are added to the game. So stay tuned and now, thanks for watching. Bye bye.